Rennes entertained Ajaxio at the Stade de la Route de Lorient in outgoing coach Frédéric Antonetti's final home game in charge of the Brittany side. Mevlut Erding back in the home team after nearly a month on the sidelines due to injury. And the Ajaxio line led by 11-goal top scorer Adrian Mutu. Ajaxio knew a win in Brittany would end any threat of relegation with a game to spare. They'd gone 11 away matches without a win since November. But Wren had taken just five points from a possible 36 coming into the weekend and have one of the worst home records in the division. And Ajaxio got off to a dream start, taking the lead just five minutes in here. Johan Cavalli's free kick blocked by the Wren wall. But Benjamin Andre's shot towards goal helped on its way into the net by Fuseni Diawara. No offside against him. And this goal, a good one. Wren keeper Benoit Costil beaten Diawara with his second goal of the campaign. The first came against Rennes back in December. Rennes won that game 4-2, but their season has fallen away badly since then, collapsing after Roman Alessandrini succumbed to a serious knee injury in February. Mevlut Erding with the shot on the turn that came back off the post at the other end, but not an easy evening for Antonetti's team once again. Indeed, Ajaxio might even have increased their lead. Adrian Mutu in here, and Costil making the save. Mutu denied and Ren drew level just before the break across from the left-hand side by the youngster Stephen Moreira. The left-back who made his top-flight debut last weekend. He found Erding and he headed past Guillermo Ochoa into the far corner. A 10th league goal of the campaign for the Turk. But this one his first in over three months. Hadn't played since April's Coupe de la Ligue final defeat to Saint-Étienne due to injury. Back in the team and Ren back on level terms at the break 1-1 the scoreline the mood lifted around the Stade de la Route de Lorient then Ajaxio getting the second half underway Albert Emon's side in an unfamiliar blue kit in this match in Brittany the second half not so lively chances uh, few and far between really the truth be told Adrian Mutu cutting in from the left-hand side as he so often loves to do this was about as good as it got in the second period his shot Pretty easily saved by Benoit Costil. And then the rain began to fall very heavily indeed after that. Wren not creating too much. Unable to trouble Ochoa, the Mexican international. Certainly not bothered by that shot there from Jean de Macoun. Frederick Antonetti's side held to a 1-1 draw.